I don't know what I have done to any I don't know what I have done to any I don't know what I have done to any But the time I'm no more any will rest. Any and the mother will rest. Oh, any abosifo and Janet Osifo. By the time I am no more, they will rest. Any what have I done to you? This KO uh, family program. Any went. He has been the admin on this page. He has been on the admin, he has been the one working on the, working on uh, uh, all this, uh, this thing. We pay someone in Nigeria, then he carries camera, and then the person will always direct him on what to do. We have always paid. And he said that we earn $200,000 uh, on, on this platform since we have been doing things. Me, I'm not aware. I know that when we traveled to Italy last year, we spent nothing less than 15,000 euros. Our stay more than two weeks, both in hotel, everything, more than 15,000 we spent. Feeding and everything in the process of marrying him. Even before we started on this Facebook, I have paid somebody 11,000 euros. We have taken lawyer. When Eliab got repatriated, it was money we paid lawyers. It was money he used to come in here. He calculated $200,000 we must have earned, guys. But I don't know exact. But I know that all these materials we are using on Facebook, we pay for it. Like the pregnancy, like the lights, like the wheelchair, like the light at home, like the uh, uh, expenses at home, we have been paying for it. Our going to cinema, our going out, the clothes we are wearing, the hair we are wearing, the shoes we are wearing, we are paying for it from that same revenue we are receiving from Facebook. We bought the father a car, we dug a borehole for them, we renovated the family house, we fenced the family house, we opened a, a, a business for the mother, we gave the younger sister one million, we gave the family, the brothers and sisters money every now and then, we were paying the children's school fees, we bought the children phone, we bought the children clothes, we took extra lecture for the children. What's more? Every now and then, the daughter is sick, 500,000, 600,000, 400,000, we will be paying the mother 400,000, sending money every now and then. All these things he never calculated in that very video he made that I will earn 200 and I kept it for four years. Four years. He said we have been earning and we have earned 200,000, which I am not aware because I never calculated what we earn. We just know, okay, we earn this amount of money in a month. They are still giving my children their benefits. But then we spend it every month. This one, this problem, this one, this situation. We have a land, uh, four landless property that is on our boat names. This program and KO Kids, I have been working my ass out on KO Kids, on KO Fans, on Meliab, and on this program. Eliab has been the one receiving the money. Now, it's the only program normally I'm receiving money, but I never knew anything that comes. Sometimes 4,000, sometimes 5,000. But we are receiving a lot of views. Me, I don't know how it works. I never knew. Until I took an admin since we started having this issue, most especially yesterday, I realized that the video of that pandemic that was 3 million, it was copyrighted. I say copyrighted? How can this video be copyrighted? It is my video. It is on my platform. Because three months or four months ago, he decided to open... Fans, open kids, open media. No copyright will catch those videos. If you check on program, some of the videos we post on program, we equally post it on kids. Some of the videos we post on program, we also post it on media. So before, like three months back or four months back, if I'm not mistaken, it catches the copyright and the cap whenever it has views, the money from the copyright goes to on one 
the very first uh, platform that posted the video. Now, three months or four months ago, he released it. He released it. He released it. So everybody have their own. Even if I post this video on program and the same video gets posted on kit, copyright will not catch it. Any views that we have on kit or we have on Meliab, you take your own. You get every views go to their own account. Now, two years, since two years, Eliab have his account. He was receiving Meliab and he was receiving KO family fans. That is now production. He has been receiving the salary. Any revenue that comes from Meliab, his account was inside. Any revenue that was coming from fans, he was receiving it until fans got demonetized. When fans got demonetized for more than five, six months, there was no revenue coming from there. But Meliab, he was the one receiving it since two years. I opened an account for him. I made a video on this, my platform. And I said, wow, my husband now have a card. He can now use money and all those things. I have been working my ass out. No wonder. Eliab put KO kit, all the views you see on KO kit, 3 million, 2 million, 1.2 million, 2.2 million, and so on and so forth. Eliab was receiving the money. We cannot even see the person who put account number there. And then on program, he only gave me a single video and live video. Subscription, stars, and reels has been going to Eliab. Now, this page, fans of 18, I told him to take fans as we started getting ready to separate one another. I told him, take the fans. He said no. He took Melia and he took KO Crew, which are the two platforms belonging to him. We built it. All these pla five platforms are ours. But when he said that Melia was having restriction that the videos there are not going viral, I told him to take fans. He said no, there is no need. No, Melia is enough. So very soon they will open it. I say okay. Not knowing that his account number, he, he is the he put his account number on fans. So all the videos have been posted. I am working. He is receiving. And then he came on social media to let the whole world know, say, I see this, I do that, I do this. I decided to keep my mouth shut for everything Eliab has done to me. Because I decided not to like make it on, on like a single video where people will get it twisted, where people will just cut small and cut half and judge me and say you lie. I want to put it on a movie where people will follow it up and then another person can easily still go and watch it without getting me twisted. Now I am here at home with five children. I have been working on this platform since three months, since one month, since two months. I just got somebody admin. I paid a lot of money yesterday for the person to assist the kids because he was in charge of all this computer stuff. Like we still pay somebody who guide him. But then of course he knows already better. We used to pay someone, we put the person on salary. Whenever there is restriction, whenever there is a situation, he can easily contact this young man in Nigeria. He put it on a video call and then this person will direct him on what to do, what to do, what to do. So, he has been taking care of the computer thing. He knows how to put a, a, a set up the um, uh, account, set up whatsoever. Why me? I go to work, I come back, I go on appointment, I drive to do massive shopping. If there is any appointment for the children, um, uh, family meeting in the school, wherever, because I am the one who, is, who has been driving since eight years. You, are, you and I know that what I'm talking about. I still cook. I still clean, I still iron, I still do normal job till at a time that I realized that my power could not handle it, handle housework, handle the children, handle the appointments, and handle 12 hours job again. As me and you, we are talking. Elia is collecting the revenue as I'm making my video, even as he is in Nigeria. And he's the only one who can release it. 
Eliab is the only one who can put me there. He put himself on a business suit. That he will be the only one. If you know laptop and you have a page and you are very good at it, maybe you will understand what I'm talking about. I cannot settle with Eliab. He's so aggressive. He's, he knows what he's doing. And there is more that I cannot open up now until I am done. Or there is so much more that I have to keep off social media until everything is ready. That is why I said to you guys, I'm not ready to talk yet. Eliab has done me and my children so much harm. Since Eliab came to this country, he never worked. He never paid rent. He never paid rent. I started this platform exactly when Eliab got repatriated back to Italy. I started it with my children alone. I started with YouTube and I started with Facebook. And if you know, if you have been following me four years ago, you will realize that I was always coming to give message. Me and my children shooting uh, uh, all this jealousy, jealousy, and all those things. I started. Until he came, it took a long time. The videos I used to start with Eliab was all those quarry, which he tried. He was just a standing person, and then we made the video, he rests. Things will get spoiled at home. If I am lying against my husband, may I die on timely death? May I not see the end of this year? We will have to pay. He will, I will have to, he will stay, stay, stay. Two months, even come on speaker on television. Three years, he will not make a move. I said it to tell my husband, at least you help me create content. Your own kind of content will be different to my own kind of content. Yes, I gave an example. I said, do you see this Ugo Eaglet? It is very easy for you to see that this husband and wife are working together. Because when two people are working together, they grow rapidly. I gave Benny Mood as an example. I said, you see this SJ gender they are doing now? They are doing it perfectly. I said, we started it. Even though we stopped it, because you are not doing anything. You cannot just stand up and create content of the things that have, we have learned, the things I have bring to, your, to, to, to this, our platform. If we start it now, people will think we are copying them, not knowing that we started this even before any other person. We just gave up everything we have started. Create any kind of content. If I prank you, reason what to prank me with. Not that it's, in, it's me. It's me. I will give you content. Uh, stand up. Bath. Sit down. That is all. If I am lying, if I am lying against Eliab, may I not see this year ending. If I am lying against Eliab, may I not see this year ending. He claimed that pastor came to, uh, um, is supporting me. The very first time we had issue, Pastor begged and begged. I told him a lot of things have been true right from the beginning. Pastor said, please, give me last chance. He will change. I will change him. He will definitely change. Then I said, okay. But I did not want to. I had already had enough. That was six months ago. I had enough. Like, I had enough. Now, I decided to even block the pastor. I blocked the pastor. I blocked him. I said, because I know all these things you say you are going to change. He will change within two weeks, not even up to two weeks. And then I will be praising him. I'll be telling him, wow, wow, uh, you are trying. I will be proud of him so that he can do more. After two weeks, he will withdraw. But not with content. He will not bring content. He will not stand up and say, let's do this. Me, I bring, you bring, at least husband and wife, let's meet us halfway. Like, have you ever seen my husband come on social media to make a video by himself? Have you ever seen um, any video Eliab make without me being inside? Without me being there? Very rare. Very few. For good four years. I was always telling him, see, even if he's an apprentice that is learning how to make hair. After four years, you, 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 you take freedom. It will help you. Not now, baby. Not now, please. Not now. Okay, my love. Please. Mommy is shaking and mommy is cold. Eliab disappeared from this country just to go to Nigeria and be doing me harm. He claimed he removed me from KO family fans. 
which is KO production. I worked hard there. I posted a lot of video. There was one video that was 1.1 million. And then after he's completed 1.1 million, that uh, video that says, uh, um, who did I sleep with? Who did I sleep with? We made this video already months ago. But then each time we re-upload it, people find it very interesting. We have already eaten the main revenue. I posted it there. The video I went to cinema to prank my children while I dress very old is 400 and something thousand view. We also have other video with 87,000, with 50 something thousand, with so many. You can go there and check it. Supposed to be the revenue I received. We go there on the platform yesterday. If you realize this video that my husband pushed me, it was my content. I created that content by myself and we acted on it. It's 1.8 million. Elia claimed it. Elia claimed the video of this last month. And it has been more than three months we separated. The video of Pam Dediam I posted eight days ago, nine days ago. It's three million before I deleted it. Elia claimed it. Elia claimed it. I have not made story of what I have been through with Elia Bo. <laughs> what Elia has done to me and my children, I am not even telling that yet. Because I don't want it to be twisted. I don't want bloggers to carry it and then cut half and leave half. I want to put it in a movie. I, I will be in Nigeria soon by the grace of God. If I can, if, if, if it's still possible, I will sit down with a script writer. I will explain on the audio. He will write it as a script. And I will come to Nigeria and act on it. Because this will not be something. We'll be say, I will use math to tell you guys. Because you know, go feel ever believe. Eliab have started, used, in fact, there's no need of talking yet. Now, my problem is the reason why I decided to cry out. The day before yesterday, you know, I came out today, I was crying, I was happy. I said, God, thank you. But I did not also mention why. I said, the day before yesterday, something happened that I cried. I said, God, why? God, why? Yesterday, I paid someone 173,000 naira. This person that helped me with the laptop, directing the children, how to go to our account, how we could change, how we could change this, how we could change that. As I'm talking to you right now, Eliab has collected KO family fans. Now you have the fans. Now you have the uh, Meliab. Now you have KO family crew. Guys, as I am talking, do not forget that my five children have been shooting videos nonstop. We have been creative. Michelle have played a part of I Am Pregnant that gave us a lot of millions of views. They have been making a lot of videos. Valerie has made a video on a wheelchair that gave us a lot of millions. It has not been only me and my husband on this platform. So, Imagine KO Kids. Eliab has been collecting the money. Me, I'll be the one that I say 4,000. Like last month, I just only collected. They only paid me 4,600. I say, all oh, these views... 2.7 million, 3 million, 4 million, both kids, both program. How is this possible? Not knowing that everything the children has been working on KO kids, he has been receiving the revenue. Now he claimed KO family fans. And on this very program, the only revenue I'm receiving is fans, uh, that is the single video and live video. The reels, the subscription, the stars goes to Eliab. And it has been, even as we were living together. Even as we were living together. Eliab came outside to make me bad as a narcissist. He started a smear campaign. So that by the time I open my mouth, none of you will believe me. But he has forgotten that if, when he was not in my life, he said 2016, for example, if I put Papa Dacia in prison, he claimed to have proof and evidence. You and I ask me a question. How can someone who was in Nigeria have proof and evidence over situation 
that happened on his behalf. Secondly, in a police country, if you live abroad, and if you don't live abroad, ask question. I will just put someone in prison, just like that. No courts, no law, no, no proof, no investigation. You just put somebody. You just go to police and say, police, I hate this person. I beg, help me put them for prison. Is it possible? And then they will give the person three years imprisonment. My brothers and sisters, there was nothing like three years imprisonment. This man did the level. This man did the level. He did the level and he was, he, his registration was in my house. And when police came to search, I told them, hey, my hands are all poor. My hand not deal. I beg, I know if you judge matter. Then they left. Where is he? I said he went to school. As he came back from school, they came to pick him up. That was all. Because they caught someone at the train station that was supplying him something. That time was the time of Leica Mobile. Everything you are talking on Leica Mobile, you are ordering for food, you are ordering for chewing gum. Police was recording everything. He was not the only one caught. To. He was not the only one brought to prison because of D-level. Now wait till you sue, now you the repo. Now wait till you sue, now you the repo. He said Mabel is too intelligent for a man to scam her. Guys, when you are married, this one should be handling this, and this one should be handling that. As a good woman or as a woman, you can never be married and be suspecting that your, your husband is a criminal. It's difficult to know now. How can, you, how can you get married? You did court wedding, you did traditional wedding, you did white wedding, and then you'll be suspecting that your husband will be a criminal in your house. I have an evidence and proof if Elia continues to deny it. The last saga that made Valerie came out was Elia that placed that call, instigating that Chu's promise wanted to kill me and uh, kill my family member. He called my family member, threatened my family member. What did I do? What did I do? The things that he has been doing in this house has been abnormal. I could not bear it anymore. I could not bear it anymore. That was the reason why I said to him, see, you cannot be in this house. To even go take Monachi outside to play. You and Damien be doing jogging. You never walked. You know, you can do jail gym, do jogging, do something. You cannot always be at home for so many years. It's not good. It's not good for your joints. It's not good for your muscles. You guys can go jogging. You guys can go somewhere, do something. To no avail. Okay, now that we realize that, because normally we were having views, but guys, I know they see the money. I don't understand. But I could not suspect. I did not suspect anything at all. You can call me stupid. I did not suspect that my husband is so cruel to that extent. I never suspected though. Till now, as I'm talking to you, I can go on camera, I can carry this phone, go upstairs. Damien is still with somebody who knows how it goes and they are trying to see how we can rectify it. And he said, it's not possible to rectify it at least. Let me hold uh, KO kids and program. We are the one now walking there. Mona helped me beg Eliab. Now, when it comes to the allegation he made on me killing my late husband, my late husband was an Austrian. He was a project manager. He died here in this country. He was very huge. He did not eat poison. They did not detect I used knife, Techo Camo. I don't know whether I strangled him now. Like say I strangled him. Maybe people, the police are supposed to know. You all know. This is black and this is Austrian. This one are black. Oh. If any white person and black person living together and the white person buy, my brothers and sisters, my brothers and sisters, they will investigate it till thy kingdom come. He came on life. He told you all. 
I find my husband. It takes only stupid person to believe that I am here in the country, I still kept my children, and I find him. No be juju be that. No be juju be that. No be juju be that. If it is possible, like if it is really, really possible, no be juju be that. What else did he even say? So many other things. As pastor came into our life, I realized that, oh my God, this man is dangerous. He did not just beg me again to call him back home. Because how can you be in the house? All this man does is different kind of blackmailing. My naked picture. My naked video. He go claim money. He go say, if I talk about the money, he will post my nakedness on social media. A man that paid my bright price videoed my nakedness. Why both of us were having sex? I started using it to blackmail me and claim money 2,000 euro plus, plus 12 million. Eliab claimed it. He said, If I talk, he will come and show, he will post it. That situation that happened three, four months ago. Whenever you see comments that time, return that see, I return Valerie, that you do the worry, you know, but you do the worry, you. That was Eliab all along. I said I have evidence, but the person, I will not expose the thing yet, but I have it. It was Eliab who contacted who he contacted. You know, I've said it here before. He contacted people to call me, put fear in me. The whole time, Vera was staggering me. It was Eliab. If you now notice, everything Vera said then was exactly what Eliab repeated. Me and Eliab went to do marriage. I have prepared to marry him and forfeit the money. I told him this is the last thing I will do. Let's try any other possibility to see if it will work. Because this money is too much, 1,700 euro. At least people, they come up from Niger for less than this money. Let alone, it is free. Both of us can use it for pension. It is for us. At least if there is any other source, maybe Father Shaft or wherever, we will do it. Anything at all, we will try. If we see that it is not working, then at the end of the day, before we will do something else. They will try. I even told him, go to Spain, go and hustle for documents. Go to Italy, go and hustle for documents. Do whatever you can. You know, go do. He just put everything for my neck. All these things I am saying, if I am lying, may I not see, may, not, may, I, may I not see December this year? If I am lying to paint him black, just for me to be noticed, just for people to feel sorry for me, may I not see this year to December? Then finally, finally, we got prepared from here to Italy to cross the border. It's not more than one, one hour, 30 minutes. We live in Graz. After Clan Gefford, you just, within 30 minutes, you're already in Italy. Suddenly, there was voice notes that was running. We even accused Ruti Space for doing this, that it was Ruti Space who sent that voice note to Vera. Earlier put my picture, sna snapped my Facebook, uh, one of the uh, video I made on this platform. He snapped the picture. He put it in another phone. And then he used it through another WhatsApp and forwarded it to Vera. I remember vividly, we were in this Italy. And then Valerie poured uh, paint. Cortez, they were painting their finger with this girl that Doris brought. It, uh, we, you know, we were plenty. She stained the sofa. And then the hotel manager got mad and said, no, we are destroying the properties in this hotel. These children must leave this room. So they threw one... <coughs> <coughs> because <coughs> we took three massive rooms in that hotel. So the ones that them Valerie were staying 
we throw they they said they should go because the the paint the contest fell down and then you know everywhere it just stained everywhere and they became mad when the cleaner came took the pictures and realized that oh we stained them valerie stained it i even paid 1010 euro for damage if i am lying god almighty may i not see december this year i paid the damage they did not even give us the sofa no problem but i paid so they now ask the kids to evacuate from this room that was valerie and the girl uh, um, doris brought two of them were in, in one room with doris uh, with uh, michelle they asked them to evacuate the room no 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 so me and doris we could still stay in our separate rooms what did we do pp joe wife can testify some of them now went to pp joe wife some of them because we couldn't get a new hotel room fast 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 to our greater surprise now only us they there me doris the children and pp joe wife between doris social media not knowing that earlier was giving vera information blindly just by sending it with another account just by sending every information with another account. So Vera now came outside. Hey, they're pushing them for a room. Oh, I see. This thing is the right thing. It's true. They don't push you all of us, though. Only the kids, like I explained it, we were sure. When we went to do the marriage, we realized that some document was missing. We did not do the marriage anymore. We started looking for the document and see what we can do. PP Joe wife was really helping us a lot because in Italy, I have no say. We only verify the document that needs to be verified and then they ask us to come and do the marriage as fast as possible. And the reason why we actually went to Italy to do this marriage was that at least hopefully when we come from there, they will give him visa immediately just to avoid going to Nigeria to pick a visa. Otherwise, we would have been able to marry here. But we thought if we go to Italy and marry, since it's another country, then there will be no need of us buying a ticket again going to Nigeria. Now, before I come tell more of the story, because I wouldn't want this video to be too long, so nobody don't get it twisted. I never stop saying that I will not give the uh, uh, earlier document to. Let me go marry Anna. Why should I say I will not give him documents? Before you apply documents in this country, you have to do German class and write the exam. Without that German certificate, you cannot even apply. If I am lying, please place a course on me. Now, after the German class, we will now submit that I'm working. That was the reason why I started working. Now, I waited for him to do that. He did not do it on time, oh. He did not pass on time. If you not finish him on time, there is nothing I can do. The Dutch course normally take like three months. It depends if you are going three times in a week or you are going two times in a week. So it takes like three months. And then they will now make another appointment, maybe in a month's time, maybe in two weeks' time for you to write the exam. After the exam, before we went to apply, as we went to apply, not knowing that even if we married in Italy, they still referred us to go back to Nigeria. And now, to go to Nigeria and apply, you must follow the normal procedure. You carry all your documents. They will go and submit it at uh, Austrian Embassy Abuja. They will take their time to verify it. They will now send a lawyer to your family member to see if you have another wife, which they did four or five months ago. After they did this, I told my husband, you go, I will be coming. He said, no, let all of us go. I said, but if all of us are going, it's going to take time. Because the children are in school. It will be only by June, July, when they are on holiday. That is when we can go. But you can go by yourself. I will sign for you then. He said, no. He said, no, he's, he's afraid. He is afraid that maybe if he get there, I will not sign for him. I don't know why he was afraid of himself, afraid of his own shadow. Because I have been catching him red-handed, what he has been doing, what he has been doing, what he has been doing. I have been keeping it. I have been accumulating it. But I have been forgiving him. I have been wanting him to change. I have been wanting him to be normal. Because I believe he's, he's, he's really having a mental disorder. Like he's, he's a narcissist, heavy narcissist. 
elle est abyss. Eliab is the type. If you with you and him, you are talking, he is recording. Eliab is the type. If you are doing anything, he is videoing. His own family, his own wife, even to the extent where we are having sex. Eliab videoed it and be blackmailing me with it. But this last laugh, guys, I told him, spread it. Bring out all the videos. Eliab went to the extent. He went to uh, Amazon. He ordered blood. Whenever he has done heavy wrong. Instead of me to kick him out or say I'm no longer interested in this marriage. Eliab will go to the toilet. He will press the fake blood inside his caca. Inside his own sheet. And then he will come and be showing us. Sending it to Doris. Sending it to Pastor. I am shitting blood. I am shitting blood. I am shitting blood. Now. Just because I have lost my first husband before, I am so afraid to lose another, I will just use that kind of blackmail to consider him. But after so many months, I realize, say, hey, basically when they shit blood, how is it possible you go shit so much blood? At the time, there was one video, a video with blood shitting. Then there was a drop on the ground. I say, if you they shit blood, how come drop on the ground? He said his own nash is leaking. Ah! You don't reach like that. You they shit blood. Now you can't see they are alive. He was using blood shitting to blackmail me.